Okay, lovely question here. So we have a rectangle. We want to find out the area. The rectangle is divided into three equal parts. Within each of those parts is a circle. All circles have the same radius. And we have a diagonal line in the rectangle. The diagonal line and the base of the rectangle both are tangent lines to the circle. Okay, and from the center of that circle, we can actually just extend radial lines to the tangents and those will meet at 90 degrees. To work out the area of the rectangle, it is the length times the width. The length is the sum of the diameters of the circles, so that's three times two is six. Right, and the length of the rectangle, we actually divide into two parts, uh, one and five units. So from the center of the circle, we can extend a line to the bottom right vertex of the rectangle. This gives us two right triangles because these triangles are both right angles and share the same hypotenuse and another side. That means that they are congruent. So that means that we have a length of five for the base of the top triangle. From the center of the circle, we can extend a line up, which we call Y, and we can actually create another right triangle. In this right triangle, we have a hypotenuse of Y, length of one, and the remaining side, we can call X. Okay, let's look at this triangle in a little bit more detail. So if we look at this green triangle, uh, what we will see is that it is actually similar to the highlighted triangle above. So they both share a right angle and they both share a, another angle which is highlighted yellow, meaning that they are similar triangles. Okay, we can look at the base of both triangles. So the small triangle at the bottom has a base of one. The larger green triangle has a base of five. That means that the ratio of the lengths is one to five. And we can actually use this to then set up uh, two equations. So the length y plus 1 will be 5 times the size of x. So 5x equals y plus 1. And the length of x plus 5 will be 5 times the length of y. So 5y equals x plus 5. Let's call these equations 1 and 2. And make a bit of space. Now that we have these simultaneous equations, we can go ahead and solve for y. So subtract 5 from both sides, so x equals 5y minus 5. And we can use this value for x by substituting it into equation 1. So therefore, 5 times 5y minus 5 equals y plus 1. Expand the bracket, and then we can subtract y from both sides and add 25 to both sides. 24y equals 26, and therefore y has a value of 26 over 24, or 13 over 12. Now we can just add the radius to 13 over 12 for the height of this triangle. So that is 2 and 1 12. And now we are going to work out the width. If we have a look at these two triangles, now the blue triangle and the green triangle, again we have similar triangles. So they both have a right angle and they both share an angle. The, the fact that these two lines are parallel means that they are both equal which means that again we have a ratio problem. We have the small triangle has a base of 5, the large triangle has a base of 6, so this is a ratio of 5 to 6. Here we can just set up a ratio problem. So we can take w divided by 2 and 1 12 equals 6 divided by 5. And now we're going to solve for w, so multiply both sides by 5, then multiply both sides by 2 and 1 12, and we end up with 5w equals 12 and a half. All right, divide by 5, w equals 2.5. And then just plug that back into our original equation. For the area is 6 times 2.5, which equals 15 square units. Really nice question.